Okay, I got this uh, revolver all cleaned up. I'm just uh, starting to put her back together. So you got the pole. Goes on the hammer. So you see I got her greased up. And there's an unmistakable notch in the frame, so it just goes right in there. This side here. Open that. screwdriver to get in those hard to reach places sometimes. So I have to just fit up in there. Putting up a little fight there. And we'll just put the bolt in. We'll screw in for the. There it is. You just got to tweak these bolts up. You don't have to go cranking down on them. Do that you're just going to strip your threads make your screws all bub it up there you don't want that okay this uh, cylinder lock in next Just goes in the other side. Looks like a tuning fork almost. And of course the and the trigger, last but not least. Tweak. And I just try it out I'm using my thumb as a spring on the trigger. Everything works for me. Put the spring in next. Put some grease on there. Magnetic screwdrivers are really good for this. So always be careful with these, especially these short screws. You don't want them going in cross threaded. Some of the feel the least bit tight, back them off, kind of like this one's doing. It's uh, putting up an argument. There. 
some of these guys can be a little bit stubborn. Better off starting them by hand. There you go. Much better. A little tweak. Trigger works good. Of course, there's no spring in the hammer, so you have to push them back with the finger. Anyway, zoom in a little more there or not. There we go. All right. Springs in, triggers in. Cylinder locks in, hammers in. Let's put the trigger guard on. I was gonna polish all this up for some reason. I did just want to get her done so you can polish up the brass later. I just get them started. Got the two long ones going the back. And the shorter one, of course, goes in the front. Like I mentioned in the preparation video, it's always good to get the proper screwdrivers with good tips on that uh, won't mess up your screws. So it really does, you know, you can really notice the screws on these things. It really does take away from your revolver. You see the damage on the slots and the screws. There. Done. The spring. I uh, always stick that in there, and then you can uh, the screw in. The screw will start quite easily. And you don't want to mess this up because it's brass. Um, proper sized bit in there. And I take it off the same way. I just back the screw off. As you can see, there's lots. Of, the spring is loose. There's no tension on it. And it's tightened up as you put the spring in. So it's the least painful way I've found of doing it. Just make sure there's a little indent on that spring where the uh, little roller goes on, make sure it's in the center of that. I'm not doing a terribly detailed video here, just a quick reassembly of the 1851 Navy. There. And at this stage you can check the function. Half cock, full cock, which is all you got on the on the cap and balls. And everything's working good. Don't dry fire it. No, even at, even at uh, the cylinder off, it's not a good idea to let that thing go slamming in there. So we'll put the uh, back strap back into the grip. same size screws that hold your trigger guard on also hold the uh, back strap on. And start them by hand. You won't be starting these by hand, they're in there too deep.
They go in pretty easy. Again, I don't tighten anything right down until I get all three just about where they need to be. This one's there, so I'll just back them off. As you can see, this guy didn't quite go where he was supposed to. I didn't get that screw in there good enough. So I'll just back these off a little more. You also want to try to, don't want any slips other than stabbing yourself, you're going to put a big scratch in the brass or in the case hardening on the frame. Don't want to do either one of those. Tweak that down. He's tight enough. Starting to look like a revolver again. I'll uh, do the cylinder next, I guess. What about the. If you're not comfortable doing this, don't. Um, you can probably spray. I've never, I've never come across this stuff anywhere here in Canada yet. But the uh, ballastol, you can get down, spray everything out, get inside with that stuff. It'll probably wash out all the, wash out all the uh, fouling. But at the end of the year, if you have such a thing, folks down the southern states probably give it year round. You can. Uh, Now, the, the, this area here, especially between the uh, cylinder and the barrel and the back where your pawl and everything is, the rear of the cylinder is where your fouling gums you up. So it does get down here, but it doesn't seem to gum up the mechanism. So I think if you blast it out with some ballast oil or something, I use a barricade or birchwood casey. Uh, I see that. I use that quite a bit. It works good. Although I think uh, it wouldn't be near as good as a lubricant as the uh, ballastol would be. Hopefully someday I can find some of that stuff in Canada. That cock. There we go. Looking good. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to assemble the barrel and loading ram. And lever. Get that ready to go. I like to take the wedge right out when I uh, clean it. Because the uh, fouling does get in there. The retaining screw back in. And pull that out. All these, uh, like even the ram and all that gets quite a bit of fouling. Put the black powder on it, so I slob it up with the this uh, Wonder Lube. Oops, that way. Uh, nipple grease. Effective lube for breech plugs and nipple threads. And it does work. It makes uh, Removal of these parts a lot easier. And it seems to work pretty good as a lubricant. It's just in these areas is what you're after. 
You don't have that gummy mess. Throw that around, won't we? A little tweak. I've seen guys strip those. That's uh, strip that. You're you pretty much had it. Doesn't take too long, as you can see. I have this thing stripped down to nothing. A little tweak. Make sure everything moves nice and freely. It does. Careful your cylinder doesn't go flying off and you pick up the yeah. There we go. And there you have it. One clean 1851 Colt Navy. Ready to go. Or ready to be stored. She's uh she's uh good for the good for the winter, stuff like that. And uh, personally I've never had a problem. No rust or anything using Using that tradition stuff. And no, I don't work for the guys. Oh, shit. There's that dry fire I warned you about. It's just that uh, I tend to find something that works. I'll uh, I'll talk it up. So anyway, as you, could, as you saw, it wasn't that difficult. And uh, like I say, if you don't uh, feel comfortable with it, don't do it. You can always take it to the gunsmith and uh, have the internals cleaned up for you and uh, safe shooting.